Are your 360 photos not displaying properly on Facebook? You might have tried uploading your 360 image via your smartphone or your computer and Facebook hasn't recognized it as an interactive 360 where you can pan around the image later. Instead, it's displaying it as a squished rectangle, which isn't really the best way to view a 360. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this. It's very simple and easy, and it has to do with the EXIF data. When we take a 360, data is recorded within the image that says it's a 360. Often when you do post-processing, so if you change the color, if you add titles, text, graphics, whatever. If you use the wrong app, you might end up stripping the EXIF data from the image. So what you need to do is re-inject that data. So Facebook will automatically recognize it and then make it a 360. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You just need a Mac or a PC. All right, first step is we're going to go to Google and you want to type in EXIF Fixer. And that will come up with a bunch of results. We wanna click the first one there which goes to panoramaphotographer.com. And here we have uh, a free program. It's for both Mac and PC that will download and it'll totally re-inject everything that, that's missing. Um, this should hopefully fix any of your problems. I'm gonna go download for Mac. One of my good friends, Keith Martin, created this. Um, a very handy tool, it's helped lots and lots of people. Um, and he's made it completely free, which is awesome. So. Um, take advantage of it. All right, so I've downloaded and installed it. So now let's open this bad boy up. So we're just gonna go choose JPEG panorama and locate your 360 image and go open. All right, now it's easy as, all you do is go down to add metadata and we're going to essentially just resave our file this time with the data re-injected where it was taken away before. Now we've replaced it and added it back. All right, so now that I'm on Facebook, when I go to my image here, which is this one, you can see there's two files there. This one here, the one that I'm able to select, has the data now injected into it. So it's as simple as going open. And the way you can tell that Facebook has accepted it as a 360 photo is that you'll see a little icon, whether you're on mobile or whether you're on computer, um, that indicates that it's a 360 photo and you can then um, choose your starting point, which is a cool feature, I really like that. Um, I might start there on the Harbour Bridge, go save, and yeah, clearly it's detected it, whereas before it was only showing up as a panorama. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I think Facebook are becoming more and more 360 friendly, so hopefully any errors like this will reduce in the future, and 360 EXIF data will be retained in the images no matter how much you process them. But if you're having any issues, this is a simple way of doing it. Just download this program. If this was helpful, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, keep living your life in 360.